Overall, guys, this was a really, really good movie. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on Legends of the Fall from 1994. Now, randomly, my buddy asked somebody what their favorite movie was. Their favorite movie was Legends of the Fall. My buddy started watching this, told me he was watching it. He liked it and he told me to watch it, so that's why I'm watching this movie. So let's just jump right into the pros of this movie. The pros is, it's an epic long story. You know, sometimes when you're going through something in life, it's really nice to, you know, get taken out of your situation, watch a story, you know, get transported to another time period. And this movie is a very lengthy, long movie in a good way. It almost reminded me of something like The Godfather or like Goodfellas or just like a really long movie, something I'd want to watch on like a Sunday, just an epic long story. And I'd almost feel like if you cut this movie in half, I still would have been transported away from my daily life, but it was so long and so lengthy. I mean, you pretty much see Brad Pitt's character from beginning to end, so it was just a great long story. I was completely transported out of everything I was going on. It was actually a stressful time when I watched it, and I love the lengthy story aspect to this one. It's also got some pretty good twists and turns. Now, I really wouldn't say there's too many big twists coming up, but once you see the basic setup, it does twist and turn quite a bit from the first 20 or 30 minutes to the end. Lots of people come and go, and lots of things change. I don't really wanna get into who's romancing who because that kind of happens later on in the story but the, the romance here was overall good i kind of did want it to go a little further and to end a little better than it did but without getting into any spoilers i did really like the romance here it's a really romance heavy movie but it wasn't like too much for me i did appreciate it and then also this movie was long and i want to say it was pretty much engaging the whole time the only part of this movie i did find really slow was about the first 20 minutes but after the first 20 minutes, things really start popping off and you're never gonna get that healthy, good first 20 minutes ever again. It's like things just are almost in slight turmoil all the way to the end, which makes you appreciate the things in the beginning just being so smooth and easy to watch and no drama. So the only parts that I found a little slow was the beginning, but I actually appreciated that once it got later into the story. Pretty much all the acting was good here. I had no problem with anybody's acting. Anthony Hopkins, he ends up getting kind of sick or he has a stroke in the middle of the movie. So the last half of the movie, he plays kind of like a person who has a stroke. He can't control part of his face. So, I, you know, it's again, it's just, an, I really enjoyed the long transition. You get used to Anthony Hopkins, you know, you see him when he's just like a young dad to an older dad till he's just barely hanging in there. I really did like the progression and the acting in this movie. I really liked all the family vibes in here as well. I gotta put that in there. It does have a few really intense scenes that I appreciated as well. Overall, it's a little slow, but very, very engaging. All right, guys, if I were to get into the cons of this movie, I really don't have very much, and the cons that I have are very, very slight. There's two very, very emotional deaths that happen right next to Brad Pitt, and he has to sell them as if it's like the worst thing that could ever happen in his life and it was good it just wasn't great that's the only issues that i had with his acting overall it was great i couldn't imagine anybody else playing this role i just felt like man you could have just pulled this emotion out of me because these deaths were so intense and it just wasn't as good as it could be in my opinion the only other con I could see, and this is kind of weird to even say this, is that the third act kind of feels rushed. And this is already a super long movie. I could already understand. I think it was like two hours and 10 minutes if I'm not mistaken, but so much happens in this movie. I almost felt like the last third was a little bit rushed. That's just me personally. I can't really get into that without describing spoilers, but I do wish it was stretched out a little bit more, mainly with the second death that Brad Pitt has to deal with. Overall, guys, this was a really, really good movie. For me, I would put it anywhere between like an eight to an 8.5. And if you're somebody who's looking for like, just a, a story to take you away, a classic tale, this that's this movie in a nutshell like i love this movie buy try or pass i would say it's 100 percent a buy for me have you seen this movie have you not seen this movie it is a little bit slow but i found it engaging the whole time an epic story i would love to see what you guys think let me know if you've seen it down below anyways we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you on the next video peace